Hey, what's up guys? I got a really awesome early unboxing here. Today is Friday, and I don't think I've ever gotten a steel book this early from Best Buy or Target or or wherever else, Walmart maybe, I don't know. I don't think Amazon, I think I've ever gotten anything early. They're always right on time, which is irritating, but whatever. But anyway, I got um, Tom Hardy in Venom. This is the um, pop art cover, apparently. Um, I actually did not realize it was pop, Project Pop Art. Usually they're not very creative looking. They're kind of dumb. But this one's not so bad. Actually, it's very cool, I thought. And honestly, I could have swore I, I uh, pre-ordered the 4K one, but I guess I did not. I'll have to check. But uh, apparently I did not. So how about I open this up? Get the plastic off. We can take a look at this. I haven't seen the film yet. And... It is a matte finish, so well, that's kind of a waste. I, that, that would have been a perfect, um, a t a, what am I trying to say? This would have been a great contender for like gloss along the teeth and the insides here in the eyes. There's kind of a, a metallic look on it. Here, let me take this stupid thing off. I can't see the whole thing. There. Like around the eyes there. There's a little bit of a metallic, but I think some embossing would have been nice. Some, um, Gloss would have been nice, but I guess not. It says Venom on the side there, which you can barely see. It's very, very dark. And on the back, it is a picture of a symbiote uh, coming out of a container, looks like. And I do not see any dents, except maybe a slight one right there, but that's on the top. And no spine slides either, so. It is kind of lame. This is matte. Uh, this would have been nice. That's a different one, but okay. <clears throat> That's kind of lame. It's the background is um, uh, what do you call it? It's uh, just plain. Was that teal? A little bluish. Here is the Blu-ray, which is a um, picture of Venom, which is nice, I guess. And here's the DVD, which is just the plain DVD, which is kind of lame, but whatever. And the background is dumb. I don't know if that's typical for pop project pop art. I don't remember now. So maybe that's partially why, but that's kind of lame. But. The front and back look nice, though. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that was a wasted opportunity to uh, not have gloss on the steel book. But anyway, um, I haven't seen the film yet. I've heard good things. <coughs> well, actually, I should, I should state that as I've heard mostly good things. I've heard some negative things that it's kind of... Um, what would you say? Is it, it's not boring, but it's like... It's very juvenile, I've heard. Um, I mean, the character of Venom, I, I don't know a whole lot about it. I didn't read Venom comics when I was growing up, and actually, I didn't read a whole lot of Spider-Man comics. I was more into X-Men and the Hulk and, and um, um, uh, what's his face? Like, Captain America, stuff like that. I didn't read a whole lot of, uh, Spider-Man comics, and Venom specifically. But, um, I thought he was an interesting character. He's an alien, or from an alien race, and he embodies or covers up a, a person, on the, a, a human, and turns them into an embodiment of their emotional state or whatever, or whatever it was. Like, Brock was jealous of Peter Parker, if I recall correctly, if I'm remembering the story right. And that's why he mimicked, or he looked like Spider-Man, except as a giant, like, monster. Which, I don't know how this is portrayed in, in this film. But I'm assuming it's not that, because obviously Spider-Man is not in the film, so it can't be that. But, um, actually, I didn't even look at the back here. Should I do that? <laughs> um, here is the synopsis. I guess I can zoom in on that. You can read that if you want. I haven't um, seen the film yet, so I'm not going to read too much. I know that that's, yeah, Riot. And I have heard about the um, uh, post credit scene, too, with... Um, well, with the, with the thing in the post credit scene, so I know about that, but so that's that's fine with me. And here's the exclusives. Deleted scene, plus over an hour of extra features, including Venom mode, trivia track, the lethal protector in action, the anti-hero, Venom vision, designing Venom, symbiote secrets, and more. There are a lot of symbiotes. I, again, I don't know a shitload about this, but I know that there are a bunch of symbiotes. There's Venom, anti-Venom, carnage, Rampage, is that right? I forget. And Riot, obviously. I don't remember. I don't think Ryan Rampage is right. Um, and there's more, I think, too. I forget. Um, like, there's like a She Venom type one, and there's another Toxin or something. I forget. Um, 
I don't remember the names now, but there's a shit lot of them. So um, they have a, a series here they can continue, they can continue on, obviously, with the um, the symbiotes and stuff. And I'm, I think this did pretty well in the box office. I think it did. I don't remember. Critically, it didn't do fantastic, but I think that, um, it did well here, and I think it did well overseas too. I don't recall exactly. But, um, anyway, there is Venom. Yeah, as you can see. In the little sinews of his mouth, you can see it says Venom, which is kind of cool. I am digging the artwork. The one from the UK, or Zabby, had a picture of Venom on the front with, like, um, tendrils and stuff coming out, and it was very well drawn. Well, of course, sort of, like, um, like sketched out. It looked kind of cool, but this one I think I like better. I don't know if that one was glossy or not, though, but this is a lot easier to mark up. But I'm going to put this in a, in a case right away, so. Anyway. That's it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you again later with more stuff to talk about and unwrap, uh, unwrap and unbox and unbubble and all that shit. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Um, bye.